We good? <laughs> start with the game. Just how good did it feel being able to get out before back and force a fumble? Oh, it was nice uh, getting back out there, making a big play, um, especially early, early in the game, and then uh, just helping us go, you know, score. So you know, we talk about that a lot, you know, taking advantage of our situation. We got a force fumble turnover, then we go score on it. So it's you know, it a big deal, but uh, it felt good to be back out there playing. Have you seen your confidence just kind of grow throughout day one to now, just kind of where you feel like you're at? Um, I feel good. I feel good where I'm at. Um, you know, like I've been saying, I feel like my confidence has just been rising. Um, you know, Coach Grantham just keeps coaching me, um, help guiding me. You know, I don't feel like super restricted. Um, so just having that freedom is going to um, just create confidence. Yeah, so anytime there's a lot of turnover on a position group, like defensive line where you can have Shy and, and David and Marcus are all gone. Right. It's just there's a little bit of uncertainty coming in. And it gets kind of resolved maybe over the course of camp. And how, how are you feeling after these two preseason games and all the practices about where the position group is going? I think we're in a good spot. Um, I think we're in a good place. I think we're working on depth, I think, is the uh, biggest thing. And we have guys with experience backing up guys with experience, right? So, you know, we got Bink or Roach, whoever's on the inside. We got Cam over there. So we've got a lot of guys that have a lot of experience. And then just building that depth and that um, having that production through depth, I think, is what we're uh, working towards right now. <laughs> When you've had opportunities, you know, in these preseason games, like on fourth and short against Kansas City, and you know, I, I remember you had that stun against Kansas City where you spun and went inside and delivered a big hit. Um, yeah. It's uh, like things are. You guys feel like. Yeah, I feel like we're great. clicking. I feel like we're clicking. I feel like we're making plays. Um, just being consistent in the run game um, has been a big point of emphasis uh, through this off season. Uh, just because you know we let up a little bit more uh, running yards last year than we had in previous years, so it's an emphasis this year. And then just going out there and being able to put them in a situation where you go rush the passer was ideal. So that's kind of where we're at right now. Hey, what's kind of been the? It's been your <clears throat> observation on the, the new interior guys you guys have had. Has that added to your? Uh, your D I think they're disruptive. Uh, I think we got um, good athletes on the interior. Um, it's not just a bunch of mass. It's um, you know we got guys that can move around, can stunt, can uh, work their hands in the pass rush, work their hips, work their feet. So I think it's a new dynamic. Um, just having guys that can push the pocket, then you have you can work more speed on the outside, right? So um, just having that ability, I think, just makes everybody's jobs easier. Yeah, I was, I was especially ask, on the uh, edge. I was going to ask about that that connection. Yeah. Where if they're if you get that interior push, it's got to help you guys. You know? Oh yeah. I mean, you know, sometimes you don't get that inside move falling in. Um, Every once in a while, that you know, camp kills him on that uh, push by. But uh, just us coming out here and working together and getting a feel for each other, how each other rushes, I think is big, and that's kind of been the focus. So when we get to game time, it's just feels natural. We've heard before the focus on impact fumbles when getting to the quarterback. Is that going to continue to focus for y'all this offseason? Yeah, we get a lot of points for punching the ball out. So if y'all see uh, guys going to the training room with uh, you know messed up ribs or. A little forearm bumps or whatever throughout training camp. That's probably why guys punching at the ball and stuff. So that's been a big emphasis this entire offseason. And y'all are keeping track of points. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. For sure. <laughs> Were you giving uh, Brzee grief for not scooping and scoring? Oh, <laughs> man. That would have been a big highlight, huh? Yeah, so, you know, you saw Tano with his head down. I didn't even know what happened at that point. Um, but we got to the sidelines, saw the film. You know, you know, you, you, know, you got, got a few more years to figure it out. But, yeah, yeah, he'll be all right. How does, right. how does having confidence in a secondary in the way that this defensive line has confidence, how does that impact what you're doing? Don't stop rushing. Um, you know, usually you just want them to give you a step, but the way that they've been playing um, and the way that they're capable of playing, I mean, I think I'm comfortable with saying that they're going to give us two steps. So just being able to go out there and just keep, continue rushing, continue, you don't, you don't hit on your first move, come back with a counter, you know what I mean? So um, I think it gives you more confidence to rush harder on the interior and or I mean on the D line so kind of keep the motor running. Oh yeah for sure for sure. Good. Thanks, All right, so. hey, we're gonna have Trevor at this podium.